Okay, Mike, hey, what we're gonna do is we're gonna differentiate, move, rotate versus spin. Some of those people down under who've had too many foster beers, we're going to differentiate, move, rotate, and spin. Here we have a little stick, and I'm going to move the stick. And what she's going to say is you're going to see the little disc. It's going to rotate. Now if I rotate, if I move my stick clockwise, my little disc will rotate clockwise. If I move my stick counterclockwise, my little disc will move counterclockwise. I'm moving the stick. Now we might say that I could rotate it clockwise while the wheel is moving rotating counterclockwise okay no I don't drink pardon my poor attempt at an Australian accent there so we have a drunk Australian who says yeah I'll get counter rotation to movement move rotate spin I'm moving the stick clockwise I'm getting rotation clockwise. I move the stick counterclockwise. I'm getting rotation counterclockwise. Same will happen if I bring the stick up. Okay. Movement. Rotation. Spins regards fields, mate. Spins is fields. Now let's take a look at something different. Here we got a little magnet. I'm going to move it clockwise or counterclockwise, but I'm not going to rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. What is going to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise opposite to the movement is this little disc magnet. Same thing will work with a steel disc too. Doesn't have to be a magnet as long as one of them's a magnet, mate. So, notice that my little green mark, I'm only moving it one direction but my disc magnet is rotating opposite the direction the magnet underneath on the flat side is moving clockwise the disc magnet is rotating clockwise counterclockwise if I move my 5 8 inch in 48 gauss neodymium iron boron counterclockwise I get rotation clockwise Rotation here, movement down here. See what I'm not doing underneath here is this number. I'm moving it here. I'm not rotating it. Moving, rotating. I'm not rotating. So, let me move my green mock magnet clockwise. I'm getting rotation counterclockwise. Inverse. Counterclockwise movement, clockwise rotation. So where's the spin into end, mates? That's right. This point is closer to the magnet here and here. We all know that. And up here, this point is closer to that magnet. We all understand that, right? Right. Rotation. Movement. Rotation, movement, rotation. What's spinning? The fields are locked in place when they're created. Vortex reciprocation, one side to the other, centrifugal divergent to centripetal convergent. Movement, moving the green magnet, one direction, getting rotation, one direction. I'm moving the magnet here, getting opposite rotation on a disc magnet. But what's spinning? Doesn't matter how I'm moving what or how I'm spinning what. Fields only see fields. Space is one thing, mate. Fields is another. Now we all know that right now this part of the disc magnet is closer to this part of our little cylinder magnet. Yes, yes we all know that. Yeah, my poor attempt at Australian accent, right? All of Australia hates me now. Good. 
I love Australia, but y'all drink too much. Every time I talk to an Australian, my other home in South Florida, every third word is beer. Blah, blah, beer. Blah, 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 beer. Blah, 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 housewife beer. Beer, beer, beer. Drink too much. I don't drink at all. Do more thinking, less drinking. I forget who said that. Anyway, movement down here. I'm not spinning it down here. I'm not rotating it down here. I'm moving it here. What is happening up here is rotation. Physical rotation. Physical movement. Physical rotation. Physical movement. Physical rotation. So what's spinning regardless of physical movement or physical rotation? The fields, mate. Fields only see fields. Fields don't give a shit about what's moving. Fields don't give a shite about what's rotating. Fields will spin the way fields wants to spin. <laughs> Come on, you have to have a sense of humor for Christ's sakes, huh? Movement. Rotation. You can't see what's spinning, mate, because what's spinning is invisible. That's the radiation from the magnetism resulting to the dielectricity and discharge, or as Faraday called it, the dielectric field. Okay, movement. Not rotation down here. I move my green mark magnet clockwise. I'm getting rotation counterclockwise. I move my green magnet counterclockwise. I'm getting rotation clockwise. Fields remain the same, regardless of movement or rotation. Pretty bloody simple, eh what? Stop drinking so much, mates. You drink too much beer. Now, let's take a quick look at geromagnetic precession. Yes, it's another moray pattern. Everybody loves moray patterns. Let's, since I can't show you the inner atomic, let's show you gyromagnetic precession. Gyromagnetic precession. You're like, oh, fascinating, moray patterns. I think the last time I saw those was in grade school. Yes, mate, but when you was in grade school, you wasn't very interested in electricity, dielectricity, or magnetism. Therefore, when you was looking at them, you weren't thinking about these. Nature is screaming at you. Four ether modalities. Spatial, counterspatial, circular, and radial. This would be dielectricity. Radial. This would be magnetism. Circular. Circular. Can you see the circles? Spatial. This is counterspatial. Dielectricity is centripetal, counterspatial, inertial. Electrical engineering texts refer to it as electrical inertia. Not all of them do, but especially the older ones. It's correct. It's accurate. Now let's take a look at geomagnetic precession again. Let me get it right. Let me get my ugly face out of the way. Okay, now let's look at our first demo again. Let's turn a flashlight off. I love those surefires, they're great for blinding people. Movement. Rotation. Where is the spin at? Let me show you spin. There it is, you see it spinning? Look at it spin. It's spinning like crazy! I don't see anything, mate. That's right, because it's an ether field. It's reciprocating divergently counterclockwise and reintegrating clockwise centripetally, convergently. So you see it spinning again? What, you can't see the ether? Oh, I forgot. Grab some iron filings, then yeah, and you'll see it. <laughs> 
Movement. Rotation. Spin. Look at all that spinning going on, folks. What? You don't see it? What? You can't see the ether? <laughs> no, I haven't been drinking. I do have a sense of humor, however. Yes, I have a magnet tattooed on my hand. I also have a mathematical formula tattooed on my hand. That was my major discovery from 11 years ago. 1 over 5 to the power of negative 3. My other discovery tattooed on my hand. Missing secret found in Plato's Republic 509D. Also found in Proclus, Albinus, Numinus, and Demasius' writings. Yes, those ancient Greeks and Egyptians actually knew something. There's even stuff that nobody else has seen. My professor said I was a prodigy, a gifted mind at translating ancient texts. Every upside has its downside, however. Someone else is watching this video and going, Well, that's a nutty bastard that needs to get out of the house more and screw more, and screw more women. He's been cooped up in the house too long, mate. Yeah, I get out every day to walk. Anyway, movement. Rotation. Spin. Oh, where's the spin it? You can't see it? It's there, mate. It's reciprocating. Divergently. Reintegrating. Convergently. <sighs> Pressure gradient mediation, just like fluid dynamics, folks, okay? Movement. Rotation. Field spin. Thanks for watching.